Hello, I'm in Mushroom. This is Mushroom Games, and today we are back in our only oh so recently completed house in our most pristine of Skyblock Islands. To begin with, I would like to point something out. We've done it. We have actually done it. Since the end of the last video, our Iron Minions have been humming along quite happily. And now, we can make Golem Armor. But I've just messed up the tin stacks. One second. Alright, there we go. And I think we should begin from the top down with our Golem Helmet. It gives 45 HP, 45 defense, and the set bonus will grant us absorption 3 for 20 seconds whenever we kill an enemy. It is a rare item that can be reforged. Now, the chest plate. Putting in all 8 pieces because this unique crafting interface does not allow for quick moving. It's a bit of a chore, but I don't really mind. It gives us 65 HP, 90 defense, and contributes to the same set bonus. Right there in the bottom left, we've just gotten a carpentry level from crafting this. And it's something along the lines of a small shelves. And this, these golem armor leggings give us 55 HP, 75 defense, and again, contribute to our set bonus. Spectacular. Now, here are the boots. 40 HP, 40 defense. Spectacular. And let's stack it into our second wardrobe slot. To do a quick comparison. It gives us 30 more defense and HP in the helmet. It gives us... 50 more HP and 50 more defense in the chest plate. It gives us, it looks like 40 more in the leggings, and it gives us, I think that's 25 more in the boots. Let's equip it, and now we have 342 health. So, we could, if we were to want to, do a great deal of work on the fire cult quest, but... I don't think we should right now, because I do want to work on something else involving our leather capacity, but I've just gotten the wrong thing. One moment. To improve our leather capacity, we are going to want to upgrade our cow minion, and although it produces leather and beef, beef is apparently only utilized in the upgrading of the minion, as far as I can currently tell. So let's go in, hop up on this. It was a lot easier before we had glowstone. And to upgrade it first, we will need eight pieces of enchanted beef. And there we have them. Let's upgrade it. How many will we need this time? We'll need 24. I don't know if we can actually afford that, but as long as this works, it is quietly churning away on our progress to making enchanted leather, which will, of course, allow the construction of our most spectacular of profession skill-specific uh, bag items. And I am really incredibly excited for that. So, we can't quite afford a sixth level right now. We'll need just a few more pieces of leather, of beef for that. And um, checking the farming collection for just one moment to see what we needed for a medium backpack again. Because my thinking is really, if we can go ahead and make a few more backpacks, we won't have to make an additional chest for all of our leather quite yet. Now, making something out of leather to hold all of your leather, that's a funny thing to do, but I don't really mind. And now, 
pile all of this beautiful leather into our leather backpack. I wonder if we can rename backpacks. That would be helpful. If we could, we could really just consolidate even each one of these rows into a single double chest and then do some construction out here. At any rate, our next order of business is to look at these pieces of enchanted iron, our surplus. Let's make one enchanted iron block. There is a carpentry level. And let's set that in there. That is not what I wanted to do. Let us set this one enchanted iron block right there. It uses just as much enchanted iron as one enchanted iron uses typical iron. And I will show you right here, that's the wrong classification. Under iron ingots, collection level eight, the golem sword. It will deal 80 damage, give 125 strength and 25 defense. And it gives us a punch ability that looks quite interesting. And it uses two on a stick. But I don't know if that's really important right now. Um, I just got lost in my own storage area. But if we just go over here, let's uh, get out this sword. It's not really out the best of swords, but it's the best sword we have. And let's stick on our golem armor. And uh, we'll run a few errands. But I just, I forgot one thing. Now we have everything we need to run some errands regarding health and damage resistance. So, for our first order of business, let's walk through the uh, Lumberjacks area and on into the park, because we want to speak with our friendly neighborhood fire cult, just like any respectful golem armor wearer should, because, I mean, if you have enough health to survive the fire, why shouldn't you survive it? The so one thing I will query is whether or not the fire initiates badge will actually impact this fire in particular, or if true damage d impacts regeneration in some way that I have not yet experienced. That is, of course, what we forgot. And now that we're on the park area, I will show you something. In our previous redstone gathering, we unlocked a little accessory bag, and even though it only has three th 30 slots now, it will grow. And this badge will give us four health per second, while burning, because we completed the second fire trial. Let's go stand in the fire pit. I hope we can see the fire. Sometimes we can, sometimes we can't. And I mean, maybe we should go speak with Gustav sometime soon. I'm maybe not immediately because we might need to invest in alchemy, or we might just want to get better armor. I believe it's Young Dragon that gives a substantial speed boost. Hello, Ryan. So, you want to rile a fire three? Okay. I'll do that. I'll survive it. 25 damage per second. That's uh, reasonable, I think. There we go. Um, okay. Now it is upgraded. The rarity will be upgraded after I complete trial five. Now it regenerates six. 350 damage, I have 342 max, so I think it would be unwise at this time to try for the next. Although, wait a minute. If this badge works, it might actually be uh, possible. Let's see. Um, maybe, I don't know. If we get down to like 30, I'm going to get out. Wait. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll take it. I guess that makes sense. Wait, it gives it an upgrade every time. It's the rarity that gets upgraded eventually. 500 damage. I'm not willing to risk it, but 6 HP regen per second does offer at least 8 more points overall in terms of being set on fire in a controlled environment. Now let's head on over to a combat island. But first, here we are in the tavern. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Uh, 
you sell nothing that I want because I'm poor right now. So let's just go down into the basement and talk to Maddox, the shirtless. Okay. Um, Slayer. Is it? How is this related? Um, we cannot afford to start the quest. Okay, so you kill the boss to get XP. You gain a level from XP and you unlock rewards per level. Noob. Okay, you'll get an HP boost each time. You'll get <laughs> recipes. That makes sense. Um, cool. And these are still clouded in mystery. Uh, very nice. So, maybe we should try that out later. But right now, let's just go. First, we'll beat the tar out of a few zombies. Then we'll beat the tar out of a few spiders and skeletons, or maybe we'll get killed instead. I really can't say. Hey, can I take a hit from you without dying? Yeah, I can. But you can still take several hits from me. And there's my absorption heart. It's my first ever absorption heart. That's cool. I have over 400 health. That's actually kind of awesome. Okay. Hello. I don't think I'm gonna need zombie minions when it's time anymore, cause uh, you're no longer scary to me. Now let's see if uh, skeletons can still be nightmare inducing. Probably yes. Just cause they live in rib cages and do spooky stuff like walk around without tendons. It's kind of creepy. Um. Anywho. Uh, and, wait a second, we need to talk to Rick. Who's Rick? I don't know. Let's kill a spider, and then try and find a skeleton. And then kill a skeleton. Hello. I'm going to kill you. Stop stealing my absorption. I can't aim well, because you're a little tiny monster, and I don't like you. Okay, I killed it. And I have full health, too. Hello. As long as you can keep killing low health mobs, you can always have a little surplus of health. That's my understanding right now. And also, maybe, like, if you set yourself on fire, you can, like, cheese the fire regen badge. I don't know. Maybe that's stupid. But you killed several spiders now. Now let's kill a spitter spider, a splitter, not spitter. Oh, you're the one that drops the silvering fish. Hello. Um, now what's this? Why are there torches leading to a rib cage? I don't trust you. Uh, hello. Now, uh, let's see, where, where will we end up? And what on earth is that? Is that a piece of meat over a fire? Yeah, and it's a tent, too. You can tell because it's tent-shaped. Um, we're in a rib cage, and I see a name tag. Okay. Um, wait. This is gravel. I think I've read something about this. Wait. You can... <laughs> okay, you can mine gravel here, just, uh... FYI, everybody else probably already knew this, but I don't know. Hello, where are we? Um, I don't like you. Thanks. So we just got bones and bone. I thought it might be special because it didn't stack, but in fact it was uh, the skeleton who was special, not the bone. Hello, I'm going to murder you. Uh, this place is cool, I should bring a shovel. The thing is- oh, I don't have a shovel, so I can't. I wonder if this counts as mining when you're gathering gravel or what? Like, what level are you? Like, what skill? Wait, who are you? You're Rick? Huh, you have the same flesh as your brother. Well, your shovel broke. Uh, you need iron ingots. Okay, I have a new objective. Bring iron to Rick. Ah, uh, how don't don't you love fetch quests? They're my favorite too. Um, anywho, let's be going. I want to kill skeletons. We'll bring the iron to Rick 
later or never. Although I do kind of want a promising shovel. So I'll probably bring it sooner than later. Hello. Okay, we've just unlocked Enchanted Bone Meal. And that island looks freaking terrifying. I'm sorry. That might be rude or offensive to someone, and I would not want to be that way. But really, it, it looks spooky, and I don't like it. So you know what I want to do? I want to go there. The thing is, if I recall correctly, I'm not able to go there yet, because I need to have combat level 12. And you know what I don't have? Combat level 12. Let's see what I do have. I have combat level 6. No. I'm, I have progress to combat level 6. I have combat level 5. Um, so, I have an idea. Not get that skeleton murdered. Um, that guy's running around and he's making my game slow. So let's just go over here again. And consider what we want to do with our nice, beautiful golem armor. Um... And I think I have a spectacular idea, in all reality. Um, no lie. First, go check out the Blazing Fortress again, and see if we can uh, wipe out somebody named Wither Skeleton before he kills us so much this time. And the second thing I want to do is uh, train up and go to the... Uh, Spooky Island, the spooky spiky place, because it, it looks quite exciting. So, back up this old staircase. I think this is the wrong way. I'm pretty sure this is definitely the wrong way, because I don't remember going here before. But, now we're in a place with lots of spiders, and that silverfish just turned to dust. Okay, hello. You're a splitter. I'm good. It's hard to kill the silverfish on the carpet. I don't know why there's carpet in a spider's web. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't want to exclaim anything until I knew whether or not I was going to be alive when I said it. Because, you know, if you say, yeah, I just fell, and then you actually died, it would be kind of upsetting. But it would also be kind of upsetting if you screamed and whinged about it, and then you were just fine. Like, just wait a minute. Find out what's happening. Let's not fall off this time. Let's uh, let's also just get stuck in the spider webs. Totally, that's what I meant to do. Uh, let's see. And on this way to the blazing fortress, and really, it still looks awesome. Although it's a bit hard to look at when you only get three frames of transit, even though it seems like it's going on for two hundred years. But I mean, don't let that bother you. Just don't play on a potato like me and you'll be fine. Hello, Wither Skeleton. Oh, you just got murdered really quickly. Hello, L-E-L -E human being. You defeated the magma boss. That sounds spooky. Why is there a boss? Is he my employer? Uh, hello. Hello. I kill you. Alright. I have gravel in my inventory. I have bones in my inventory. You kill people fast. Oh boy, that's an iron sword. I wonder if it's a golem sword. It's probably not. But here is something we can do. After we work on our combat level a bit, or maybe before we finish working on our combat level a bit, we could do something that I think would be really fun and uh, work on enchants for a minute and die for a minute too. Hello, um, also just for the giggles, I'm going to aggro a pig man. Hello, hello pig man. Your redstone brothers are annoying to me. Oh no. Hello. I'd like to go away now. Okay, bye bye. They're, they're coming through the lava. Okay. I'll accept your neutrality. I'll, I'll accept that. I kill you. And I get gold nuggets. And I get absorption hearts. Huzzah. Three cheers for absorption hearts. Um, 
Now let's just finish you off. All right. And uh, we'll be back with you as soon as we have a bit more idea of what's going on. Thanks very much. Okay, so actually time constraints kicked me in the teeth. So we're just gonna enchant some stuff. We're gonna take our golem armor helmet. We're gonna take our protection four. And we're gonna put 12 more defense on the thing. Spectacular. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the chest plate for six levels. And then with the pants. And then with the boots. And we just leveled up to enchanting level 3. We get 12% more in orbs and so something called the Wizard's Portal, which we will look at sometime other than now. And for some reason, this is in my slot 3 now. Oh, I see. I, I equipped a nothing armor set. Well, now I'm wearing enchanted golem armor after so very long working on it. And I hope you have a very good day, because I know I surely will. This has been an excellent experience, and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.